sought something I'm odd But a man must have his fun And so I sigh to see in skies That blood runs And when I die it will be hot Destination hell I got shame and my guilt it causes pain but though that guilt does try again my lust does rise again and then again I have my fun once again my evil comes and with that lash I then slash Otherwise there'll be no cash And then I'll be back on the deck Fuck with me, you'll be a wreck I'm the sadist with the lash Cabin boys, their backs I slash Cat and nine tails, oh what fun Scum, but now I'm down below. And submissions, what they show, I too must have fun. So, cabin boy, your job is done. Blood runs Cabin boy When your Blood
It is an ancient mariner, and he stoppeth one of three. By thy long gray beard and glittering eye, now wherefore stoppest thou me? The bridegroom's doors are opened wide, and I am the next of kin. The guests are met, the feast is set, mayst hear the merry din. He holds him with his skinny hand, there was a ship, quoth he. Hold off, unhand me, greybeard loon, and soon his hand dropped he. He holds him with his glittering eye, the wedding guest stood still, and listens like a three years child, the mariner hath his will. The wedding guest sat on a stone, he cannot choose but hear, and thus spake on that ancient man, that bright-eyed mariner. The ship was cheered, the harbor cleared, merrily did we drop below the kirk, below the hill, below the lighthouse top. The sun came up upon the left, out of the sea came he, and he shone bright, and on the right went down into the sea. The wedding guest, he beat his breast, he cannot choose but hear, and thus spake on that ancient man, that bright-eyed mariner. And now the storm blast came, and he was tyrannous and strong. He struck with his o'ertaking wings, and chased us south along. And now there came both mist and snow, and it grew wondrous cold. And ice, mast high, came floating by, as green as emerald. And through the drifts, the snowy cliffs, did send a dismal sheen. Nor shapes of men, nor beasts we ken, the ice was all between. The ice was here, the ice was there, the ice was all around. It cracked and growled and roared and howled like noises in a swound.
to mine But merrily he tells his tale as time passes by The albatross The albatross At length did cross an albatross, through the fog it came. As it had been a Christian soul, we hailed it in God's name. It ate the food it ne'er had eat, and round and round it flew. The ice did split with a thunder fit, the helmsman steered us through. And a good south wind sprung up behind, the albatross did follow. And every day, for food or play, came to the mariner's hollow. In mist or cloud, on mast or shroud, it perched for vespers nine, whilst all the night, through fog smoke white, glimmered the white moonshine. God save thee, ancient mariner, from the fiends that plague thee thus. Why lookst thou so? With my crossbow I shot the albatross. And the good south wind still blew behind, but no sweet bird did follow, nor any day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. And I had done a hellish thing, and it would work em woe, for all the verd I had killed the bird that made the breeze to blow. Ah, wretch, said they. 
the bird to slay that made the breeze to blow. Nor dim, nor red, like God's own head, the glorious sun abrist. Then all averred I had killed the bird that brought the fog and mist. Twas right, said they, such birds to slay that bring the fog and mist. The fair breeze blew, the white foam flew, the furrow followed free. We were the first that ever burst into that silent sea. Down dropped the breeze, the sails dropped down, twas sad as sad could be, and we did speak only to break the silence of the sea. All in a hot and copper sky, the bloody sun at noon, right up above the mast did stand no bigger than the moon. Day after day, day after day, we struck nor breath nor motion, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. The very deep did rot, O Christ, that ever this should be. Yea, slimy things did crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. About, about, in reel and rout, the death fires danced at night. The water, like a witch's oils, burnt green and blue and white. And some, in dreams assured were, of the spirit that plagued us so, nine fathom deep, he had followed us from the land of mist and snow. And every tongue, through utter drought, was withered at the root. We could not speak no more than if we had been choked with soot. Ah, well a day, what evil looks had I from old and young. Instead of the cross, the albatross around my neck was hung. Seek revenge, then 
Once their ship did sail The mariner He did not fail The bird of omen Of good luck For it They did not give a fuck
to
Death ship ahoy Death ship ahoy That ship waits for all of us Black lip towards us thrusts You'll be dead it one more day So our souls will take away Ship ahoy Ship ahoy Death maiden licks with lust And towards us the stress her soul to her belongs so for us this death song to ship a hoy death ship a hoy screaming No, they will win I see the storm cloud brewing I feel an evil wind And yet I keep on dreaming Of calm waters and us free I know the palace we are building Will drown within the sea And so the serpent tightens his Grip around our throat And so soon we will be gagging How soon we will choke Yet I can't stop dreaming That one day we will be free And we will live eternal In our palace By the sea By the sea
the serpent strangles So certain is our fate Our hands are ripped apart As our last breath we take And yet we keep on dreaming We dream eternally That we are in our palace Palace by the sea, by the sea, by the sea, by the sea, by the sea.
drifted in a calm sea. Water running over me. Ten weeks I'm caught. Serpent's evil child. There passed a weary time, each throat was parched and glazed each eye. A weary time, a weary time, how glazed each weary eye. When looking westward, I beheld a something in the sky. A speck, a mist, a shape I wist, and still it neared and neared, as if it dodged a water sprite, it plunged and tacked and veered. With throats unslaked, with black lips baked, we could not laugh nor wail. Through utter drought, all dumb we stood. I bit my arm, I sucked the blood, and cried, A sail! A sail! Alas, thought I, and my heart beat loud, how fast she nears and nears. Are those her sails that glance in the sun, like restless gossamers? Are those her ribs, through which the sun did peer as through a grate, and is that woman all her crew? Is that a death? And are there two? Is death that woman's mate? Her lips were red, her looks were free, her locks were yellow as gold, her skin was as white as leprosy, the nightmare life in death was she, who thicks men's blood with cold. 
the naked hulk alongside came, and the twain were casting dice. The game is done, I've won, I've won, quoth she, and whistles thrice. One after one, by star-dogged moon, too quick for groan or sigh, each sailor turned his face with a ghastly pang, and cursed me with his eye. Four times fifty living men, and I heard nor sigh nor groan. With heavy thump, a lifeless lump, they dropped down one by one. The souls did from their bodies fly. They fled to bliss or woe. And every soul it passed me by like the whiz of my crossbow. I fear thee, ancient mariner, I fear thy skinny hand, and thou art long and lank and brown, as is the ribbed sea sand. I fear thee and thy glittering eye and thy skinny hand so browned. Fear not, fear not, thou wedding guest, this body dropped not down. Alone, alone, all, all alone. Alone on a wide, wide sea, and never a saint took pity on my soul in agony. The many men, so beautiful, and they all dead did lie, and a thousand, thousand slimy things lived on, and so did I. I looked upon the rotting sea, and drew my eyes away. I looked upon the rotting deck, and there the dead men lay. I looked to heaven, and tried to pray. But wherever a prayer had gushed, a wicked whisper came and made my heart as dry as dust. I closed my lids and kept them closed, and the balls like pulses beat, for the sky and the sea and the sea and the sky lay like a load on my weary eye, and the dead were at my feet. The cold sweat melted from their limbs, nor rot, nor reek did they. The look with which they looked on me had never passed away. An orphan's curse would drag to hell a spirit from on high, but oh, more horrible than that is the curse in a dead man's eye. Seven days, seven nights I saw that curse, and yet I could not die. Sea, 
And when it is his time to die, King Neptune sets him free. Mermaid will be love Each day be like a summer's day Stare at the skies above And so upon a dead man's ship The rain comes tumbling down So upon a dead man's ship The rain comes tumbling down And so upon a dead man's ship The rain comes tumbling down And so upon a dead man's ship The rain comes tumbling down Tell. Here it comes. 
dances tale of living hell. It's in living hell. Beyond the shadow of the ship, I watched the water snakes. They moved in tracks of shining white, and when they reared, the elfish light fell off in hoary flakes. Within the shadow of the ship, I watched their rich attire. Blue, glossy green, and velvet black. They coiled and swam, and every track was a flash of golden fire. O、oh, happy living things, no tongue their beauty might declare. A spring of love gushed from my heart, and I blessed them unaware. Sure, my kind saint took pity on me, and I blessed them unaware. The selfsame moment I could pray, and from my neck so free, the albatross fell off and sank like lead into the sea. The loud wind never reached the ship, yet now the ship moved on. Beneath the lightning and the moon, the dead men. They groaned, they stirred, they all uprose, nor spake nor moved their eyes. It had been strange, even in a dream, to have seen those dead men rise. The helmsman steered, the ship moved on, yet never a breeze up blew. The mariners all 'gan work the ropes where they were wont to do. They raised their limbs like lifeless tools. We were a ghastly crew. The body. My brother's son stood by me, knee to knee. The body and I pulled at one rope, but he said naught to me. I fear the ancient mariner. Be calm, thou wedding guest. It was not those souls that fled in pain, which to their courses came again, but a troop of spirits blessed. For when it dawned, they dropped their arms and clustered round the mast. Sweet sounds rose slowly through their mouths, 
and from their bodies passed. Around, around flew each sweet sound, then darted to the sun. Slowly the sounds came back again, now mixed, now one by one. I woke, and we were sailing on, as in a gentle weather. It was night, calm night. The moon was high. The dead men stood together. All stood together on the deck, for a charnel dungeon fitter. All fixed on me their stony eyes, that in the moon did glitter. The pang, the curse with which they died, had never passed away. I could not draw my eyes from theirs, nor turn them up to pray. But soon there breathed a wind on me, no sound nor motion made. Its path was not upon the sea, in ripple or in shade. It raised my hair, it fanned my cheek, like a meadow gale of spring. It mingled strangely with my fears, yet it felt like a welcoming. Swiftly, swiftly flew the ship, yet she sailed softly too. Sweetly, sweetly blew the breeze, on me alone it blew. Oh, dream of joy, is this indeed the lighthouse top I see? Is this the hill? Is this the kirk? Is this mine own country? In the way.
The wind is howling on this summer day. Keep a good hope blows our lives away. The lightning flash Our timbers are all
And when the storm does not cease, your fate it will be peace. When the storm. That's not true. 